hi what's up in today's video uh, we are going to be uh, looking at how to create you know uh, an Halmana calendar in Corridor 2020 you know we'll move further to create the calendar as well then we'll infuse that into the design so without further ado let's step into it so this is the picture that we are going to use so let's go over and change the page to a a2 which is the normal size of our calendar so let's go over and locate a2 this a2 then you go over to zoom down here are the pictures that we are going to be making use of so let's go over and just you know double click on this rectangle to automatically it snap into page so right now let's map out uh, it's gonna be <coughs> paste so let's do our mapping so right from this uh portion we're gonna have the calendar so let's go over to just you know point your mouse to the top or uh, to the tip of the object you know uh indication of an arrow is gonna show up then you pull it down right from there can you see that right click when you get your destination so right now let's go over and create where we're gonna you know type the 2000 and, uh 2023 you know our test so let's go over and uh, right click on our object convert to object convert to curve then you go over and put uh, this point you know to the uh, left just like so can you see that so right now we're gonna be doing is to go over to your uh, tools locate you know a uh, color eyedropper tool click on that then you sample the color right from here then you go over and put it right here can you see that so right now right click on this to so on appear the outline likewise this as well so let's go over and just you know uh, make the lighter color lighter version of that you know below good so right now let's go over and just bring in the this image so let's power clip this image into place locate objects locate power clip then place inside frame select the frame so uh, that's because we don't have uh, any object right there so let's go over and create object right here this object there so let's go over change that to white then go over again select the object locate object locate back clip place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into the frame so let's go over and just hold out scale the keyboard select the image then you make the image larger just like so good so right now what we are going to be doing is to park clip let's make the picture a little bit bigger then let's go over and create you know an object right here look at you know uh, your look at your polygon tool then you create you know uh, a perfect polygon object on top of the uh, the design go over and change the angle to six it's okay then squeeze it a little bit good so right now what I'm gonna be doing is to go over and back clip this into place then make it a little bit bigger position it so well then you go over and make a copy inward just like so extract the contents then you go over and select the object itself right click on Y to change it to Y then you go over and zoom it all up right click then you locate you know a frame type remove frame then you go over and hit F12 for your keyboard Think it, taking the outline let's make it 13 good so right now what we're gonna be doing is to make a copy inward just like so so let's go over to F12, hit on F12, then at this time let's make it, you know, 7, it's okay, let's make it a little bit tinier, 
so right now here it is so let's go over and select the 210 the two line then you go over to object locate you know convert object to convert outline to object automatically it converted so right now let's go over and just right drag uh, this uh, gold colored you know objects on top of the line then you release your mouse automatically it brings up some menus then you locate copy or property click on that automatically it changes uh, the whole thing right there so right drag to the top of the other line then you copy your properties automatically it changes so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just adjust the image just right there then select the whole thing right click right here to an appear the outline then group it all lobs and then hold shift key and keyboard then you tap on page down automatically so control page up so automatically it pops right behind the woman so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just adjust that a little bit then you go over to uh, what's it called the test let's bring up the test just like so then you go over and uh, change the test right there so let's change the test to uh, in this case we are using trijan let's use trijan good so let's go over and hit ctrl k to break the uh, test into pieces then we we'll go over and adjust this so what we are going to do right now is to go over and just bring in the test let's position the uh, Happy birthday to the top of the uh, what's it called design then bring it in the name change it to white so what we're gonna be doing right now is gonna we are going to uh, lay emphasis on some uh, names so right now we're gonna be doing so it's control key and keyboard to break uh, test into pieces then you go over and just you know position the rest of the name just like so then you make the comfort bigger which is a uh, rename of the woman so make it a little bit bigger then you go over as your shape to reduce the tracking just like so then you make the test you know uh, gold by right dragging in the uh, gold you know uh, coated you know object to the top of the test then you release your mouse it takes you here then you hit on copy your properties automatically it changes so right now what next is to go over and just you know so in this case there is something that I really want to infuse right now let's go over to it's a pre-downloaded you know uh, what's it called object in which I download uh, somewhere so let's go over and look at that so we are going to be using the crest so it's a while for that to surface let's wait a while good so right now what we are going to be using right now we gonna make use of uh, this you know uh, crest right here then let's bring in you know let's bring in this so right now let's try and adjust that so what we're gonna be doing is to just delete this put this all up So right now what we're going to be doing is create an object on top of this then you change the black center to the, the object 
make it a little bit bigger just like so group it all up center it within this reduce that a little bit position that just like so so let's position the whole thing to the tip of the design good so right now let's position this so well so what we're gonna be doing now make it bigger a little bit then center it within that so right now let's go over and apply a uh, shadow you get a shadow tool then you go over and make the shadow 90 or oh, let's make it 100 it's okay then you go over to object locate break drop shadow apart automatically breaks then you group it all up by hitting ctrl g on your keyboard make it bigger so right now what we're gonna be doing now is to go and darken it all up just like so then you go over and position your 85 birthday the five on top of the crest so right now let's arrange that change to go delete this we don't need that anymore so let's go over and just reduce that just like so then you hit ctrl k to break the test into pieces position the heart to the top of, of the 8 to 5 reduce the heart then let's make this a little bit smaller just like so then position the 8 to 5 you know very creatively then you make it bigger position it so well then bring this to the tip of the 5 just like so good we are getting there so right now what next is to go over and just you know make the make this a little bit bigger then likewise the other name so right now we're gonna be doing is to center the whole thing within each other then bring this a little bit downward then putting it all up good so right now the next thing is to just you know position this so well let's go over and change that to hello paris which is good so it all depends on you you can decide to use any font of your choice it all depends on you as per this project is concerned this is what we are using for this project so make it appealing then you center it within the object so our next step right now is to go over and create you know uh, some boxes around the the object so what we're gonna be doing is to just position this test position it just like so So right now, what we're going to be doing is just create an object on top of that. So let's go over and change that to uh, this color. Then hit Ctrl P down on your keyboard. power clip that into place position is so uh, just like so likewise this as well power clip that into place good position is so uh, just like so power clip the woman as well then adjust the picture just like so good
so right now let's make the color a little bit you know darker use your high dropper tool let's sample the darker color out of this place good point right there so then you go over and change this as well so let's go over and just you know round it all up the edges of this shape can you see that then you make the test white border up good so right now we're gonna be using this color then let's go over and make it lengthen that color a little bit good so right now let's type you know 20 20 23 calendar calendar so it control key and keyboard then you go over and make that a little bit bigger then you position the calendar beneath it look at your shape to increase the tracking just like so likewise go over and just reduce the tracking of the 20 23 then you make it bigger position that just like so good so right now we have through the uh design so what we're going to be doing right now is to go over and create you know a calendar so let's go over to create our calendar each control pen so we are creating under you know our you know <coughs> file on that so let's hit ok so let's go over to uh, what's it called So go over to tools and you locate you know script then you go over uh, to run scripts so a dialog bo box will pop up then you go over to this drop you know menu locate calendar wizard then you run so you wait a while automatically it takes you here so let's go over and just you know Tap right here until it takes us to 2023. So then you select the whole thing. Can you see the outcome of that? Here is a calendar. So right now you need some adjustments and all of that, you know. So after I might have gotten everything set up. Then you go over to uh, hit on generate. So you wait a while for that automatically it takes you right back. You know, can you see that? So let's go over and locate. Uh, can you see that? Come out that here is the calendar that we've created so far. So what we're gonna be doing now is to go over, and copy out all of this, you know, calendar. Then we'll go over to our design. Then you. Ctrl V to paste copy and go over to Ctrl V to paste here is the calendar that we created so what we're gonna be doing is to delete this then you position this so well we'll be closer to each other just like so then we'll go over and position that so well on top of the design that we've created good good
so right here what we're gonna be doing we are going to put some picture right in here so let's create a portion of the picture then so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just you know make a copy of that we are not gonna be pop by clipping that into place right now so let's just create that portion ready to accept picture so let's adjust that good so here is the finish you know point of the design that we've been doing so far here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the notification button in case I have something you know special coming out so that you will be prompted as something has been dropped in my channel uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing so far so see you in the next phase bye for now